So, um, so Ben, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about when, when you guys got into implementation. Um, yeah, I know your project management team, you know, takes over at that point, but, uh, um, how, 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 you know, how did it work on the back end? And, and, um, you know, my guess is, uh, you know, it's not just an opening, right? Like, well, it's just an opening. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be put into process. I've, uh, I've done, an, I've done enough talks with Cinercom customers and vendors to know that there's a, a, a lot to the sausage making to make it, to make it actually work. So, uh, let, you know, what do you hear your perspective on that? You know, they always say no one wants to see how the sausage is made, but I find that's probably not entirely true. There's a lot to be said about the process. And, you know, to, to pivot to where we're at with the Palo and the AWS project, a lot of it relied on, you know, what Dylan did from the pen test standpoint, and it helped solidify that relationship and that trust a little bit to actually open up and have those conversations. So then Pete, like you said, he came to me and said, well, we want, you know, we need to look at installing a, you know, a Palo Alto firewall on our AWS solution. What, what do you got? Do you guys have those sort of capabilities? And we kind of had a discussion around what Cintercom can do because it is another side of our house uh, besides the pen test. And we talked about, you know, the cloud services, the partnerships with Palo Alto, the things that those guys have done as a CPSP or certified Palo service provider. Uh, and some of those certifications really lend credence to what the team can do. So we sat down with Aaron, kind of did an understanding, talk about what, what CNN knows about, you know, AWS and Palo environment and kind of how we could help them get over that hump and, and really help guide them towards what a, what a great solution it can be and, and how to configure it properly. So we had quite a few, probably four or five different calls, I think, with uh, Aaron Howell and team to talk through what that looks like before we even really came to a decision of, yes, let's make this a thing and move forward and uh, put all the pen to paper, got everything together, worked through with Pete and team, made an understanding of what that effort looks like and you know, got to a point where it's, it becomes a win for everybody involved. And now he's, uh, you guys are probably almost complete with the implementation at this point in time. We're close. We're very yep. close. Yep. 